Hi guys and welcome to part two of this design set. I am, as before, I have tipped and roughly shaped and I am laying my clear base of super clear chimera gel. Now for this one I wanted a smile line so I'm using dragon to build my smile line but I had a hair stuck on my handy dolly so I am... Um, I was just getting it out and it wouldn't move. So, yeah, sorry for the disruption. <laughs> but I didn't realise that I'd left that in until I came to edit it. So, for my smile line, I have started up at the cuticle area and I am letting gravity do its thing as opposed to... I, I had something stuck, honestly. Normally, I don't get the issue, but today, it was just one of them. So yeah, as you can see, I'm not in a rush and I'm just making sure that that's all pushed back to where I want it. Now, obviously, if you had a real person, you could move back the sidewall skin, but I can't pull it back on my dolly. So hence, it got a little bit there. But by the same stretch, my dolly isn't going to get an allergy. <laughs> so I've cured that for 60 seconds and I'm going to come in now, when I file in a smile line, I use a nice new file and I don't shred it. So when I'm filing clients' natural nails, as in the sidewalls, I will come in with a shredded pre, you know, so that it's not going to cut them. But for a smile line, I like it nice and crisp so that I can get a proper sharp wall. And I'm just coming in and refining that nail bed a little bit so that when I cap my free edge, I've got... Oh, there we go. <laughs> now, because I laid a clear base first, I've still got something to come back to. So I'm coming in with my black. And I'm not worried about it being a flawless application. I've wiped off a lot of it because all I'm really using the black for is to add a bit of depth and a bit of darkness so this is my second coat and like before i leave it wet but i've left the little bit of paper in shot it's just the back of well it's my shipping labels to be honest they're really really great and i keep them because it's great to you know pop the pop the gel on and then the disposable. So I'm using my blue and purple again. So it's royal blue and velvet purple. And I'm just smushing them up. Now I didn't use the Comet this time. Because I did want each nail to have its own separate look. Now I did flash cure it for five seconds. Just like before. Before. Not before. <laughs> I flash cured it purely so that I can press in that them flakes and please don't ask where they are I've no idea where I got them from I just found them when I was looking for something um and yeah I was I was training the other week and we was discussing them and I went oh I think I've got something like that and had a little rummage and yeah I had some and I don't know where I got them so I've used the finishing wipe and I've de-sticked. I always, always give a really good scrub because I don't want allergies. So I always make sure all the inhibition light is thoroughly, thoroughly gone. I had capped the free edge in the Super Clear Chimera, which is Super Clear Hard Gel. And it is beautiful for showing off colours. It, it really is. So now I'm going in and I'm doing my sidewalls and the bulk of the nail because I want it all nice. Now when I filed, I don't think I filed enough. It was just one of them that I should have wiped and checked, but I never did. <laughs> so the, the smile line, although it looks nice, it could have looked better. But I didn't realise until after. But it does look nice. So I'm coming in with the top gauze 
and that is design two of this set. I will link them all together. So thanks for watching guys. Bye.